Davutkon Karomatov of Uzbekistan up against Hussein Rahimli of Azerbaijan. How fitting it is that we have Uzbekistan with two gold medals to their name already going up against Azerbaijan with four. Karamatov wearing blue, number 22 years old, the number three seed at his first Paralympic Games. Ditto for Rahim Lee, he hasn't been to the Paras before. He's the number four seed, 26 years old. Runner-up in the World Championships three years ago in Portugal. And how fitting that we're going to finish the day with a battle between Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan. Johnny Ramakas of the Netherlands is the referee for this contest. Karamatov in blue, Rahimli in white. Both of these athletes marching their way out, getting ready for this fierce encounter for the gold medal and the Paralympic title, Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. Rousing music, stirring stuff, raising the spirits. And the spirits of all those sensei from around the world who are here in spirit supporting these athletes. Four minute bout, gold medal at stake. The men's minus 81 kilogram. Oh, there was a attempt there. Didn't quite come off. Wazaari is half an Ipon. That was probably half a Wazaari there, but you don't get anything for that. No. So no score on the scoreboard as yet. No Yukos anymore. No Kokas anymore. Only Wasari or Ipon. Karomatov wearing the blue gi for Uzbekistan. Raim Lee in right tries to make that attack so he's really trying to get his arm over the back of Karamakov. Second minute. Coach Ibrahim Ibrahimov, I'm sure you recognize him by now. The national coach of Azerbaijan. Emily trying so hard, but the defences of Karamatov doing too much for him. And this coming up to the halfway stage of the bout. Rahimli in white, he won bronze in the under 73 category six years ago at the World University Games in fully sighted. Judo. It's only the last four years that he's been in para judo. See the effort on the face of Ryan Lee. He's trying to lift that huge frame of Karamatov. Big fella Karamatov on the right in the blue, isn't he? Yes. Hand down. Arm relax. Foot. Feet. 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 saying. To him, he need to relax his feet, get into a correct position. 
The guy. The guy. The guy. Bramley looking for the Uchimata. And here we have. He's been successful. Wazari given in favour of Raimli. Almost halfway through this gold medal contest, and Raimli takes the lead. Raimli started off with the Uchimata and then ended up with the Suragoshi to get the score. Yeah, once more. It's Rahimli with all of the attacking. Now we're going to have a fifth gold medal for Azerbaijan or a third for Uzbekistan. Either way, these two nations have dominated the first two days here at the Nippon Budokan as this gold medal contest ticks over the halfway point. Only one Wazari between the two of them. Still everything to play for. Again, Bahimli makes the attack. Gold medal at stake quite often. There's a lot to lose, and it's a very cagey fight, but this one's been very open. I'm particularly impressed with Rahim Lee. He's really taking it to his opponent. He's got the advantage of that Wasari lead. But Karamotov, I'm sure, will, in this second half of the bout, we try to level that score. The guy, the guy. But there's the attack again from Rahim Lee. Ow. He's got the arm. Can he hold on to this? Karamatov, can he get the submission? He's got the Wazari. And he, can he hold down? He's into it three, four seconds. Now, can he make this into a Nippon? Ahimli tried desperately to get himself out of trouble. The 10 seconds is up. Can he keep going? He's going to go for the Nippon if he can. He's already on the Wazari. Mate. The referee calls. Mate. Mate. So Wazari for the hold, a hold, a pin for 10 seconds. And look how much it's taken out of Rahimli to escape that and to get himself back off the tatami. One Wazari each now. And both of them just opening their gi and loosening that belt to give themselves a little breather. There's still a long way to go, one minute and 13 seconds. Opening the gi, and I think Ibrahim, Ibrahim Ibrahimov, the Azerbaijani national coach, is opening his lungs, shouting the odds there to tell Rahimli what to do. Oh. Karamatov getting that Watari. Yoko Shiho Katami holding... Rahimli down, he couldn't turn it into a Nippon. Head up and down, last hour. Okay, loose. Okay, back, back. Loss. Stop, stop. We're saying both, they must lose. And he's given a Shido to Uzbekistan's Karamatov for not taking Kumikata. The grip at the beginning. The referee was being as tolerant as he could be. He's been incredibly tolerant. They've taken a lot of time, but uh, I think he's very understanding of the fact that uh, that last Wazari, the Shido. pin down. Shido. Ah, there's another Shido. Goes the other way this time against Rahim Lee. A minute to go. If we go into golden score, they will carry that one Shido each over into golden score. Three will see you disqualified. As things stand now, it's golden score anyway. One Wazari, either way, will win it. Oh, that was very close there for Karamatov. Everything to play for, all even, one point each, one Shido each. One silver and one gold. 
That's what's at stake. And be determined. Either in the next 29 seconds or it will go to golden score. And then there's no time clock. It'll just keep going until there's one or the other successful. And both looking at a bit of stalemate here at the moment. Neither of these countries do silver medals, do they? It's, it's gold or nothing for Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan. One of them's going to have to come away just with silver. Now another Shido Each. goes against, yes, both of them. So the pair of them walking a tightrope now. One more Wazari or one more Shido will decide it either positively or negatively. You want to see it won by a score. Into the last 10 seconds before we go into golden score. Now we're just five seconds on the clock. Literally everything is even. Almasari each, Tushido each. Neither of them can afford to take another Shido because that will be carried forward into the golden score. The gong will go in five seconds. There will be the shortest of breaks. Neither of them wanted to make an attack in those last second or two. So they'll take a breath for just a second because golden score will go straight into it. Literally just a breath. One attack, one mistake. Oh. One sanction will decide the outcome of the gold medal. <laughs> yes. John Hiramaker is saying, make it a correct one. He wouldn't want to be left with the decision to make a Shido and Hans Hakumaki. He doesn't want to do that, does he? Not he doesn't at all. want it to be him. He wants this to be a positive score. And oh, Klein, Ramley making the attack. Didn't quite come off for him. Ibrahim Ibrahimov <laughs> telling his man exactly what to do. Almost wants to get onto the tatami and do it for him, doesn't he? Exactly. Let's have the coaches on there. Let's sub them in. Relax. Relax. There's a gold medal at stake. Oh, did he do it? Has he managed surely, to do this? Surely he, he has. has indeed. He has indeed. Fantastic. And what a way to finish. He was brilliant in his attack. He went from the, instead of going between the legs, he went behind the legs and took him backwards. What a fantastic Ipon score for another gold medal for Azerbaijan. We might as well record it and just press a little button and say gold medal Azerbaijan. Tanio Toshi, what a fantastic finish there for Emli. Johnny Ramekas waits for them to present themselves. Well, in a way, it's such a shame you couldn't have two gold medals because both of these fighters deserved success. But there can only be one winner, and that winner is Hussein Rahimli of Azerbaijan. A fifth gold medal for Azerbaijan. Three out of four today after two out of four on the first day. Good grief. I think they should make the, the coach, Ibrahim Ibrahimov, carry them all home. He needs to wear them all and see if he can get through the metal detector when he flies out of either Haneda or Narita Airport in a few days' time. What a great job he's done. And there we can see the, the teal of the polo shirts and tracksuit tops of the Azerbaijani delegation. It's great for them to have some people to celebrate with in these difficult times where no fans allowed in the Nippon Kudokan, but there's no better feeling than being in the spiritual home of judo and taking home a gold medal. Fantastic performance from the Azerbaijan contingent. Absolutely brilliant. Holds his arms wide, holds that flag with pride. Gold medalist Hussein Rahimli of Azerbaijan. Saying, hold your arms out. <laughs> Rahimli saying, I can't, I'm too tired. And look at the power he put into that Tani Otoshi.
fifth gold medal for Azerbaijan. What a performance. Uzbekistan, a silver now to go with their two golds.